Hi, Cancers. This is your October 2018 drunk tarot reading. I'm trying something new. I'm doing a um, like four different scenarios just really quickly for the month of October. So, you know, Cancers in storyline A, B, C, or D, just uh, so that we can kind of diffuse it a little bit since uh, these are extremely general. And that's just uh, something I'm trying right now. I did the, uh, the Pisces one already, and they seem to be kind of into it. So some of you guys are going to resonate with only story one, only story two. Some of you guys are going to be able to blend the whole thing in and be like, oh, I resonate with all these stories. Just depends. And then at the end, I'm going to pull um, a read just for all love, general love, and see if that's, um, if that resonates with any of you guys. Um, not everyone's going to be into it. It's all right. And some people are going to say, Hey, I like that style. I like that style of reading. This is for the month of October, 2018. Don't forget we're entering on October 2nd, Venus retrograde. Um, which means that uh, a lot of past experiences, you know, someone who did you dirty in the past, whatever that kind of stuff is going to affect you right now. Also expressing love, expressing emotion in any kind of way is going to be halted. It's going to be difficult for you. So that's going to lead to frustration. I have, um, yeah, so I did Pisces. This is Cancer. I'll do Scorpio next, and I'll just keep it moving for the month of October. So don't forget to come back um, mid-October. And also, subscribe to this stupid channel. And subscribe to follow me on Instagram. Instagram is private, so you guys, if you want to um, check me out there, you guys have to um, start following me. And then I will let you in. Let you into the private place of drunk.tarot on Instagram. All right, let's get this. Storyline one for Cancers. This may or may not resonate with you. You can timestamp like the uh, like the Pisces did. Timestamp storyline one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> or the all general love. Okay, let's go. Storyline one for Cancers. What's coming through for this particular group of Cancers in October? Well, it looks like um, something is absolutely ending for this particular group of cancers. So in this scenario, it looks like something is extremely over. It's very um, definite. It's very finite. It's very over, um, which is very good. It's like ripping off the Band-Aid. I think that you have officially given up on something or officially walked away from something or ended something. As sad as that can be because no one likes looking at the death card, obviously... <clears throat> excuse me, there's a feeling of uh, relief and release once you once something is over um, as abruptly as this card is indicating. That's a good thing. It means you can move forward, you can move on. The devil card, it's in reverse, you guys. So you have officially given up uh, some sort of toxic relationship. Some of you guys have walked away from a toxic relationship. Um, you've let something go. Um, uh, if you were dealing with someone who had major codependencies, that person might have died. I don't mean to laugh, but I'm a me. I mean, and I absolutely don't mean to laugh. I just find I, uh, I, you guys understand that I follow celebrity signs and, um, Ariana Grande is a cancer. She broke up with Mac Miller. Mac Miller had those strong addictions and he passed away recently. Um, and so as a cancer for this scenario, some of you guys are experiencing parallel storylines to that where you were involved with someone who had strong addiction um, or the relationship itself was extremely codependent. And that led to, um, you know, obviously toxicity in the relationship um, codependency issues, drugs, alcohol, things of that nature. Now, while obviously it's a very unfortunate and sad situation, if someone, my apologies, if someone has, you know, passed away due to, uh, whatever addictions they might have experienced in this lifetime, um, 
that's a very small group of you. Some of you guys um, are actually just walking away from a relationship that is that unhealthy or breaking up. And it's like not even like leaving the door open. Some of you guys have just completely shut the door, locked it, walked away, thrown away the key. Um, and then, of course, if this is your own personal storyline, some of you guys have recovered and you feel maybe some of you guys found Jesus. Some of you guys found a reason to completely walk away from addiction and unhealthy behavior and you've moved on, you've moved forward or you're ready to, and you feel strong. And that's a really good thing. Um, so I usually pull three cards, but I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there for this storyline. Cause these two cards together like this is extremely heavy and that's a lot to take on. So you don't need to at this point, cancer for you cancers in this storyline, you don't need to be like, what's next? What's next? What's next? Cause that's sort of like mania. That's sort of manic behavior. Don't worry about what's next. What, worry about right, this right now. Worry about the, the feeling of closure right now. Let that feeling of closure set in for a little bit. You don't have to automatically say, okay, I'm all better. What, what's next? What's next? What do I do? Don't do that. Chill out, relax, you know, love yourself through this closure, this ending, allow time to do what time does. And when you're ready to look towards the future, when you're ready to move into the very next uh, chapter of activity, then you will. But if you're a cancer and you're dealing with something like this, this is very heavy. So all you can do is step back, chill out, you know, let your goodbye be your goodbye and to whatever that was, uh, whether it was a, the, a person itself or if it was a, a group or a party or an addiction or something, let that be gone and then just allow yourself to breathe, you know? So let's leave that there for that one situation for storyline A for cancers. Let's get into storyline B. Some of you cancers are experiencing this particular storyline. So let's see for the second scenario here. So that first scenario was heavy, you guys. <clears throat> and obviously, my apologies, I did not mean to chuckle. I chuckle when I get nervous, and I'm sure most people can relate. I got, <laughs> I got nervous because, see, I just chuckled again. I'm always chuckling. Fuck. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm always chuckling. Fuck it. Hold on. I dropped my card. <clears throat> um, okay. There's no rules in how to be a human, you guys. So don't tell me. Okay. Cancers. This is the second scenario here. The second scenario. <clears throat> And tell me which scenario you resonate with, you guys, in the comments. So some cancers are dealing with this particular scenario. Scenario two, give me another scenario, please. What's another scenario for cancers for October 2018? What's another scenario that cancers might be dealing with in 2018? I'm getting like... With this card right here, I'm feeling that some cancers are having an agitated state of communication and it's sort of feeling as if you're trying to express something. It's not coming across the way you intend it to come across. It's being misconstrued, which is creating a, a heightened level of agitation on your end. Otherwise, someone is coming towards you who is almost like speaking in tongues, like they're saying stuff, they're not making sense. And it's creating this level of agitation. When this Knight of Swords is in reverse, there's sort of like mental confusion, agitation. Um, it's almost like you're speaking to yourself in the car. It's like, um, it's energy that's erratic, but it's, it's less action and more just like mental. So let's see what that's all about. Hmm. Some of you guys are in a relationship and yeah, you guys, and like I said, the Venus is in retrograde. So if you're in a committed relationship or you're in a domestic partnership or something, Venus is in retrograde beginning October 2nd. So this particular storyline could mean that in your household, you guys are both crossing your lines. Like lines are getting crossed. Um, wires are getting crossed. The messages are getting mixed up. People are misconstruing um, what people are saying. So 
it's going to create some sort of um, surface level chaos. I don't think it's anything that serious. However, some of you guys, if you, if, if, if you were in a partnership and you guys did a temporary breakup or a temporary separation and that person moves back in, that person is moving back in or you're moving back in and it's almost under the gun, almost under force that this person is moving back in. Because true, true blissful happiness of a union is not actually there right now for some of you guys. So it's almost as if, yeah, you guys broke up or there was something and because of whatever factors there are, you guys have to come back together. It could be you guys have kids, could be you guys, the, like a divorce is too expensive. So you guys are like, fuck it, let's stay together. And that's that. And so you're moving back in. And so in doing so, it's creating resentment or some sort of tension. So the communication, as much as you guys want to be like, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. No, 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 That's fine. As much as you guys are wanting to be that, it's still creating a more like a very combustible um, union with these two cards here. It's almost like, yeah, the keg, not, not the keg. What are they called, you guys? Not a keg, you know, TNT. Uh, is that what it's, you know, the dynamite keg. They're called kegs, right? Not just beer kegs. Hold on. Now I'm going to freak out because uh, I need to know this word. Whatever. You know, what, you know what I mean? Like in the cartoons, it's like uh, the TNT. I'm TNT. I'm dynamite. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Let's put some clarifiers here. That's what someone else said uh, on the Pisces read. I really like this style, but I think you should put clarifiers. Okay, I guess I'm just a fucking made to order tarot reader then. Just kidding. Okay, so this situation is telling me that it, obviously there is a deep, deep, deep rooted love somewhere here. If there was it, I don't think that you would be in, you know, any kind of four of wands situation. There is a deep rooted love here. I think that because we can, we, let's blame, let's blame Venus retrograde, you guys, because of Venus retrograde, there is a combustible situation in the home, on the home front, some sort of separation, some sort of communication that's getting all jacked up and it's creating tension. So in October, for some of you cancers out there, you will experience um, tension, anxiety, um, agitated communication, um, I would even say a lack of focus. I almost feel like nitpicking, like a lack of focus. Like, what are you even upset about now? The fucking lid's not on the may mayonnaise jar? Okay, let me put the lid back on the mayonnaise jar. Shut the fuck up. Like, it's going to be like little things like that, and it's creating tension in the domestic household for some of you guys. But with the Ace of Cups, everything's going to turn out okay. Everything is going to work out because there is strong love that's deeply rooted underneath. Also, the other thing, too, is that we can, I can also flip this around and say that you have a strong love connection, a strong domestic union with someone, but someone has to leave in order for you guys to get back to this place. So if someone moved out or you guys had to break up, and then they move back in, it, it actually, that separation was needed. So think of it that way too. That's for storyline two for Cancers. Let's move on to storyline three. Possibility for this group of Cancers. So this group of Cancers in October 2018. This group of Cancers in October 2018. What's going on for you guys? Whatever the storyline is, what's going on for group three? Group three or group C? Name it whatever you guys want. Who cares? Or we could do it like uh, uh, one time I went to the DMV in Arizona, you guys. I don't know why I was at the DMV in Arizona. I'm from San Diego, but I was at the DMV in Arizona. <laughs> um, I think I just wanted to get an ID card or something because they don't expire in Arizona. Or they, it, like, they expire in like 50 years or something. Anyways. And... Um, there, 
system for calling the next person up, you know, their line calling system wasn't like B13. It wasn't like that. It was like the fucking weirdest thing. It was like all now calling yellow square or some bullshit. It was so wild. I thought I was dreaming. Anyway, so you guys can do this for this reading if you want. This is scenario green triangle. Here we go. Scenario three. Cancer is scenario three. Cancer is scenario three. Some of you cancers are actually in the middle of a divorce, are actually in the middle of separating from something. So when we say divorce, some of you guys are leaving a job in October or beginning the process or finalizing the process or fucking in the middle of the process, who cares, of separating from some sort of marriage. Now this marriage, marriage, shout out Princess Bride, marriage. Okay, this marriage could be work work marriage, right? Because we're there 40 hours a week, 40 plus hours a week at our job, right? So that feels like a marriage because that's a, a, a long-term union that you're in for however long you're in it. Some of you guys are quitting your job. I, you know, I don't automatically think marriage when I see this card. I think any institution where you're there for a long time, that's a marriage, okay? So this institution that you're a part of, you're separating from for this cancer, Okay, for this group of cancers, you've made the decision, I think, already upstairs in your brain. And so you are now at a place where you're like, I'm officially pulling up stakes. I'm officially putting my fucking fern on my desk, putting it in a box, taking it home. Some of you guys are doing that. Or obviously the obvious, you know, scenario is you, you are getting a divorce. You are separating from uh, a domestic partnership officially. Whose records are these? Um, is this is this my vibrator or yours? And then the other person's like, keep it, keep it. I don't want it. So um, <laughs> that's sort of like what this card is for me. So I do see this. If it's not that, some of you guys are, are in discussion with siblings, relatives about an estate. Um, and perhaps you guys are choosing who's getting what property or who's getting what, you know, legacy or something. There's that. These are pretty obvious, um, obvious uh, meanings to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. But I definitely see um, a separation from an institution of some sort that this separation will have a lot to do with, uh, will affect, will affect your finances in some way, shape or form. But let's clarify yeah. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So definitely, um, if you thought you were going to get, if you're separating from something and you, you're in your mind's eye, you have uh, a feeling that you're going to get a particular number for your severance, it ain't going to happen. So take the number that you're thinking in your head for a severance package and just like reduce it by a little bit. That's what you're getting. In other words, don't hold your breath. Um, if you thought that maybe you, <clears throat> maybe you, you're taking on a different role at your work, you're moving departments, or you're being demoted, you might be demoted in some kind of way, whether it's promotion or promotion. It's a demotion in title or in pay. But I wonder if maybe that's because you are going to benefit in some other way. Maybe it means less hours working. Maybe it means working closer to home. Maybe it means, you know, some other kind of flexibility that suits your lifestyle. And so because of that, you do have to take a pay cut or you do take a demotion or something. For some of you guys, um, if you are in the process with the divorce courts um, or whatever, separating these assets, whatever you thought you were going to walk away with, you're not going to walk away with, but it could be because it is an ACE. I do think that again, same thing with the work situation. 
maybe you're taking less monetary compensation or alimony or whatever the fuck it's called. Maybe you're taking less of that, right? But it means that you get 50% uh, total custody of of the kids or whatever. So there are different benefits and, you know, the flexibilities that you have to look at in terms of this, but in terms of monetary, monetary, your, or our material kickback to you, you're not going to get as much as you thought. And the world card in reverse. So this, this is temporary, you guys. So if you're super bummed out about being let go from a job, quitting a job, leaving an institution, leaving a situation, whatever that means, and then it, it affects you financially, but you still benefit in other sort of personal ways. It's stressful. I get it. It's, it's a bummer. I get it. But just know with the world card here, it is, it's temporary. It's temporary. You're learning lessons here. Okay. These are like, whatever, just pay attention, observe everything around you during this transition, because you are learning something, or at least you're supposed to be. I, and I know it sucks. No one wants to learn a lesson. No one wants to be taken behind the shed and taught a thing or two, but let the universe teach you this lesson, pay the fuck attention. And when you come out of it, you'll be that much more stronger. You won't make the same mistakes in your next role, your next position. Um, you'll be at a place where your confidence level is, is leveled up to where you can make the sort of, um, demands or issue the kind of requirements that you have in terms of what what you want in your next either relationship, marriage, or job. Okay. These are lessons you are learning. So learn them. Final scenario, fourth scenario, you guys, fourth scenario for cancers. Um, again, if you're cooking around, please timestamp so that you can find the scenario that resonates with you, find the scenario that resonates with you. And that'll be your scenario or combine all of these scenarios, but they're meant to be kind of separate, but they're not always going to be And then, of course, we'll do the last general love read for all cancers for the month of October 2018. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, drunk.tarot. going on for the fourth scenario for cancers in 2018 what's going on for the fourth scenarios for cancers in 2018 what's going on for the fourth scenario for cancers in 2018 hmm 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 okay so the ace of cups in reverse um there is a loss of love a loss of emotional interest um there could be a feeling of uh, you having a crush on someone or you liking someone or something and it not being reciprocated. It feels like it's unrequited, et cetera, et cetera. These are all obvious readings of this particular card, but we're going to pull some cards to clarify what this means. I think that some of you guys might not be in love with someone that I think you feel you're supposed to be in love with. It could be that feeling. Remember, this is just a month reading. And remember, this is Venus retrograde, Venus retrograde. So of course you could be looking at your life partner, your love partner, the person you have kids with, you could be doing that and being like, I fucking do not like you at all. And then you put your finger out in the middle of their forehead and you smush their forehead. Like get away, get away, get away, get away. That could be a feeling you're experiencing for some of you cancers out there. It's just a feeling of like, you know, just unemotional. You could just be feeling unemotional right now. Yes. Like I said to the other scenarios, we can blame it on the Venus retrograde. Blame it on the ah, 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 alcohol. Blame it on the V, 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 Venus retrograde. Um, That's one scenario for you guys out there. It happens, you know, let's clarify though. You've been fighting too much. You and so, okay. So this could be one of two things. One, it could be you internally 
not loving yourself right now. Some of you guys might be in a space of uh, being very ne neglectful um, and not giving yourself the kind of self-care, self-love that we all sort of promote on social media. Love yourself, treat yourself, love yourself, self-care, self-love. You could just be letting that those things fly by like in, in complete annoyance. And remember that you know, like I said, I think before I asked somebody um, what made them happy and they honestly sat there for 10 minutes and didn't know what made them happy. And if you're that kind of person where you're like, I don't know what makes me happy, you better go fucking figure it out. Because, you know, we're in this. We're in this right now. This thing called life. Um, uh, so you better figure out what makes you happy. Because right now, some of you guys are not happy with yourself for a variety of reasons. And I don't mean not happy with the way you look. I mean just not happy with yourself. So because of that, you're experiencing, you're questioning everything. You're having internal conflict. Um, just when you feel like you're, you're doing the right thing or your, your confidence is, is growing, you push yourself back down or you have some sort of yeah, inability to celebrate yourself in some kind of way. Now this is all internal. So to the outside world, you could be looking like you're, you're the queen, you're the queen of the entire world. You've got your shit together. You're super stoked on life. Nothing bothers you. It's all good. You're happy, go lucky. You're laughing. You're telling jokes. That's fine. But I'm talking about the select group of cancers out there who have maybe, and I know that you don't see the sword card. You don't see all that stuff. You don't see the nine of swords, you know, the five of cups. You don't see any of that stuff. But I feel with this combination here, there is an element of internal agony or I won't say dark night of the soul, but there's something, there's something going on internally and you need to figure it out because you're not completely as happy as you're, you're letting on. That's, some cancers out there. Other cancers, you could just be struggling with breaking up with someone again, where you guys are, you guys are, you guys keep having these like these blow ups, these conflicts. And with every single conflict you have with your life partner, your lover, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, that, every single time you guys have a conflict, you like yourself less, you like them less, you like the relationship less. And it feels as if this person doesn't love you as much as you love them. And they're not giving back to you as much as you're giving to them. Vice versa. You can switch it around. What, whatever is going on with you guys, there is going to be swift communication very soon. You guys are going to have to talk this out very soon. In October, I think that maybe you guys are, you guys might go on like a, a little mini road trip. And that conversation might have to happen either before the road trip or during. Um, I think that maybe some of you guys, if this is not a relationship, this is you just not, again, not being happy in your station in this world right now. So you might take like a little sojourn of the soul to find that, to, to find that love again, to find that self love again. Maybe you just need to go journal. You need to go sit down and journal. So I think that some of you guys are also experiencing uh, kind of a feeling of you wanting, you, you, some of you guys are making a lot of money. Some of you guys are making a lot of money, but you're not exactly feeling the love from this money, if that makes any kind of sense. <clears throat> you guys are in the process. You guys are well on your way. You guys are setting down roots you guys are figuring out a way to make a shitload of money, but in the process, there could be some conflict with your partner about how the, how the best way to get, get here to the 10 of coins. So that's some of you cancers out there. You could be just feeling like I need to get, we're going to make this money. It's going to be great. And you guys just might have some conflicting ideas on how to make that money or how to save that money or how best to go about it. That's creating a, like, we're not banging. We're not banging if we're not agreeing. So it's like that. 
Like the romance is not exactly there because you guys are hyper-focused on how to make a, a secure household. That's some of you guys. So that's one scenario. That's scenario four. All right, let me do a quick general love and then I'm going to hang up the phone. Your quick general love, all cancers looking for love, relationship situations for the month of October 18. What's going on for you? So this is very general. So if this doesn't apply to you at all, then this is not your love reading for October 2018, which is fine. Um, but I just go through the line and see what is the storyline. So um, I'll try to keep it as general as possible. But if it feels like it's specifically for someone or specifically not for you, then that's the case. Love, 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 Cancers in love, October 2018. Cancers in love, October 2018. Cancers in love, October 2018. Something is hidden. Something is hidden from you guys. You guys could be dealing with another water sign, but something is definitely hidden. <clears throat> There's an offer that is less than stellar. Um, less than uh, exciting or agreeable. It feels like you're getting the shitty end of the stick with an offer coming through. Um, it could like not meet your expectations. So if you're getting back together with someone or someone's coming through with an offer, um, you're feeling less than excited about it because I do believe you feel, you feel that you're not getting the entire truth and something is uh, not being told. I think you're hoping that you can get along with an ex, someone that you're already separated from, um, you're hoping that this person and you can uh, come to a, 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 an agreement, a settlement, something. Um, and I think that some of you guys, yeah, do feel like you might be getting the shitty end of the stick um, with this agreement. So that could feel like something. I do think it could be with another water sign if you're separating from that person right now. Um, If you're single and looking for love, I do think that they're, um, the person is coming through for you. Again, they're offering you something. Be, just be very careful because I don't give it time to develop. Give it time for that moon to turn into a sun card um, so that you know all the truth. Because at the very least, you're not jumping into a relationship blindly. Somebody has three kids, um, somebody with three kids, for some of you guys, um, maybe had uh, hope for um, a relationship to get off the ground, but because of the offer, because of you stepping back and checking out the offer, you might decide to change your mind. You might decide, hey, look, maybe let's slow things down. I'm not that interested anymore um, for some of you guys. And then some of you guys could just generally feel like, you were interested in something, but because you feel in your gut that something is not on the up and up, you're pulling back a little bit. Maybe you just want to have your fun with someone or something because you're not exactly feeling like um, you're, getting, you're getting a positive vibe from a potential relationship or, or matchup in some kind of way. Yeah, the person coming through for you guys is a water sign. They are a player. They are not really offering you anything substantial, anything you can hold on to. Um, so don't get too excited. If someone comes through and they absolutely check off everything on your box, they turn you on in such a huge way for the month of October, um, just know that they're not actually offering you shit right now. So if you want to have your fun, have your fun. But the Knight of Cups is um, the Knight of Cups in reverse is the Playboy card. So whoever's coming through, I would take their offer with a grain of salt. If you really like this person, obviously have a good time, but just know that they're with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. There, it's not substantial. That's not anything that you can sustain. This is not a relationship that is a 
is one that is at, at the very least beginning with trust. This person could turn everything around, obviously, or you could demand the truth and they'll give it to you and then you can have the sun card. But as it stands right now for the month of October, at the very least for the beginning of October, whoever's coming in, this new person, they're coming in like they are a knight in shining armor, but they're in reverse. So just know that, okay? Definitely, it's time to re, you know, you're going to have to reevaluate in October who this relationship person is, where it stands, if it's something worth your time. It might need heavy reevaluation. Um, you might actually have already accepted this offer, this upside down offer from someone. But now at the beginning of October, you're probably pulling up stakes like, I don't know if I trust this anymore. I think I want to pull away a little bit. Um, and you might have to communicate that with this person. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. And then at the end of October, definitely you're going to have to take some time. Sorry, let me move these cards down. At the end of October, you're definitely um, needing a break. You're definitely going to need to say, yeah, I'll call you. I just need some time to think. And you will take some time to think, but whether you call them or not is up to you. But for sure, the lineup here, it's not, you know, I, I know it seems negative, but it's like you dodging a bullet. It's like you seeing things. I mean, and, and let's face it. If you've been hurt in the past or you've put your trust in something in the past and it backfired in a major way because you dove into a love relationship because you got caught up in the romance of it all, this time around, you're going to listen to your instinct. You're going to trust your gut and you're going to say, look, things don't seem like they're on the up and up. I don't know what secrets you're keeping from me, but something is for sure hidden. And because of that, I need, you know, a timeout to really, really reassess. Um, and then, of course, this card means maybe this person is uh, this is a possibility and this is a long shot here. Maybe this person is acting weird because they're sick. And they need a timeout. Maybe they're having surgery or they have, you know, quite possibly some sort of um, mental illness. And the only reason why I say that is because it's a sword where they're actually needing some timeout. And you're like, where the fuck did you go? I don't trust this. So maybe secrets have to be revealed. Maybe they have to say, look, I've been taking some time out because I suffer from depression or whatever, and I need to re, you know, I need time out. And I'm sorry that I disappear like that, but that's what has to happen sometimes. And you're like, oh, okay, I didn't know that before. So there needs to be truth that comes out before you can move forward in any romantic situation. But either way, it's the Knight of Cups in reverse, and that you can't trust a hoe. Never trust a hoe. Can't trust a hoe. That's it for Cancers. For October 2018, hopefully some of these storylines resonated. Let me know which ones do, which ones don't. Well, I, don't tell me which ones don't. Just tell me which ones do. Follow me on Instagram. Request to follow me. I love you so much. Bye.